Hello everyone, my name is Mayuresh Zoshi from office365nodes.com. In today's video, we will see how we can create an accordion in Power Apps. So this is how our final output outcome will look like. So uh, we, we will use a SharePoint list as a, a data source. So here uh, uh, I have a list named as Power Apps Accordion and I have only two columns, title and description where we are storing the questions and answers. So let's see how we can create this type of accordion. So to create accordion, uh, let me add one blank screen. So here we will use one flexible height gallery. I'll just increase a height a little bit and let's first delete all the existing elements. Then add a button to show the uh, question. Make it large. Keep the border as zero, border radius as zero to make uh, look it more better. Then um, padding left 20, padding right 20, and the text would be. So before that, uh, the gallery uh, data source would be our SharePoint list. Now uh, this will be this item dot title. Okay, now we need to add another label uh, which will show the answer. So let me add the label. Here we will show it as description. Now, uh, uh, this is very important. You have to make auto height as on. Also uh, give some padding to look it a bit better. and give some background. Okay, and if we play this now, you can see that we have our gallery ready. But now we need to show only uh, that answer which is active. It means when I click on this uh, button, then only that answer should be visible. To do that, uh, just go over that label and click on visible property and set it, or put some condition like if, gallery 5 dot selected dot id is equal to this item dot id then show otherwise hide it let's see how it will look awesome you can see that it is working now we just need to uh, put some icon over here to show which one is active so i will add some icon over here let me add this down arrow. I'll make it white color and I'll push it here. Width will be 30. Height will be 30. Now uh, when we see this you can see that all icons are downward facing. So to change this behavior we will use the same logic that we have written for this label. So for icon property, we will use that uh, this chevron. So if the cur current selected is uh, active, then we will show the downward key. Otherwise, it will be icon dot chevron top chevron up. So I will use this. And instead of down, we'll use chevron up. That's it. Let's see. Perfect. So uh, this is how we can uh, develop our um, accordion or we can say uh, FAQ. You can enhance this uh, to look it more better. But uh, this is what I wanted to tell you. So basically, uh, flexible gallery, we generally don't use this. But uh, this is very helpful in such scenarios. I hope you have liked this video. Uh, if so, do not forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. Till then, thanks for watching and have a nice day.